Hello ladies and gentlemen, and Wendell Bruce here online. This is a fantastic episode live on location here at the 2015 Indie Pop Con in Indianapolis, Indiana. Of course, I am John Stone here they with came, Jason. They gave me Sharknado. So, yeah. We sorry, both, did I ruin your We thing? both got Sharknado. I know how much a fan of Sharknado you are. <laughs> oh, Sharknado. Yeah. I also know how much of a fan of coffee I am. You spill well, it all over my shirt. It's a bumpy road. You're the one who doesn't know how to drive in Indianapolis. Yeah. So. Okay. We're here in Indianapolis, Indiana. We're getting ready to go in the doors. He doesn't know what's on the other side. It, I'm, I don't have a clue. Like, you said that there's like a comic book or something. Yeah. You know? I mean, the Sharknado was cool. I mean, that's oh. all right. So, I mean, we're here with you guys. So, uh, might as well exactly. get this done. Yeah. You ready to go on in? Let's go. All right. Let's do this. Come on, guys. your best, your best. I want the guy at the top. And that's what they've done. Tonight I face you, Harker Dirge. And I regret to inform you, but you got a big problem. Because I'm going to knock you off that top of the mountain. And I'm going to let everybody know that Kyle Piper has arrived. What, John Stone? These fans, they are cheering a thief. A thief? They are cheering a thief. Parker Dirge is a thief. He committed robbery against my agency as the bell rings. Yeah, I was going to ask you about that. Where's Travis Weir tonight after suffering the defeat at the hands of Parker Dirge last week in the poll match? The unjust defeat, might I add, John Stone. I sent Travis off on a little mission to try and regain himself. We've just been invaded here at our commentation booth. That was rude. But as I was saying before, I was rudely okay. in interrupted. I gave Travis Weir the night off, John Stone, because he's a fighting wrestler. He's a fighting wrestler of the year, the true wrestler of the year, might I add. Yeah. Okay. So I, I gave him the night off. Now, wait a minute. Ooh, nice European uppercut there on the part of Harker Dirge. Harker Dirge, Dirge isn't Piper. even from Europe. What's he doing? You want to call Harker Dirge a thief? He's a thief. The gall of you. The brass one's on you to call Harker Dirge a thief. He stole from After him. what you did to the man a couple of months ago and helped cost him the championship. Oh, that Blake poor, Reed poor, now holds. Poor, poor Harker Dirge. We did nothing wrong to him. Oh, yeah, Look right. Look at that. Harker, he didn't break whenever the ref told him to. And the fans cheer him. They're hypocrites, John Stone. Harker Dirge is a veteran of this great sport of professional wrestling. In the ring right now is Kyle Piper. 
The fans here love Harker Dirge. Pfeiffer for now with a wrist lock. Well, you know, if I didn't hate him, I'd love him too, but... You know what? I take that back. Hate's a very strong word, John Stone. I just dislike Harker Dirge. Oh! Trying to stomp on the stomp toes. On the, on the toes, yeah. Harker counters out of it. Forearm shot breaks it up. Oh! Harker running back in. Oh, he boxed the ears. Harker dirts the veteran in this matchup. Kyle Pfeiffer only have a few years under his belt. Yeah, I'm not quite sure exactly the uh, extent of this man's career, but I've seen very few of his matches. Oh! So I'm assuming he's been in very little amount of time as Harker does a modified spine buster. Into a pin attempt. <laughs> Referee Sean Rife says it was a two count. Harker Dirge, so all throughout the feud with Travis where he was angry, he still wants his championship back. He wants another shot at Blake Reed in the That's, title. Yeah, so I don't get Harker's a very angry man. I don't understand why he's so angry, John Stone. He's got all these fans behind him. He had a good run as champion, but you know what? Blake Reed just ended it. Gets to the bottom rope there, has to break it up. He has to Blake it up? Yeah, right, Blake I said Reed. Break right? it up. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I thought I said Blake. Stomp to the midsection now, Kyle Pfeiffer taking control. Irish whip into the corner. Diving corner in. Snapping. Oh! Twisting neck breaker, or whatever you want to call it. Like a modified neck whip. It was a flip over neck whip. There you go. Rear chin lock applied, almost a sleeper hold. Trying to cut the blood flow off to the brain. The fans here, the battle zone, trying to get Harker Dirk back into it, added leverage. And I will give Harker credit on that. I've never seen a man in the UWC like Harker Dirge that feeds off of these fans so well. Harker Dirge is tops when it comes to doing that. Sean Rice checking to make sure the move is legal and it's not a choke. The fan's looking at me. There's a match going on. What are you doing looking up here, idiots? Elbow to the midsection now. Harker throwing him into the rope. Cuts him off. Cuts him off there with an uppercut. Russian leg sweep. Could have it. Could be a big victory. No. Nope. Europe is well represented in this match, John Stone. European uppercuts and Russian leg sweeps. Back to that sleeper. And you can say what you want about Harker, that he's a, he's a fighting man, whatever you want to say about him, but I'd like to see anyone fight out of getting straight choked out. This is very smart on the part of Kyle Piper. Put Harker down on the mat and don't let him up. We very well could see an upset, John Stone. Harker fighting back. That second or third wind is starting to kick in. Elbows to the gut. You know, by this, by, by this twisted logic that we have here, if if Pfeiffer were to pull out the victory, he would then maybe be the wrestler of the year. Oh, I don't know if he'd be wrestler of the year, but he'd be in the for something big. Well, you know, he can call himself wrestler of the year. Shoulder block. He can call himself wrestler of the year. True wrestler of the year is Flash. Travis Weir. Say what you will, but last week Travis Weir got beat by Harker Dirge, and that's the way the record books will show, that's the way history is going to show. Unjust. Stomp to the midsection. Uh-oh. Oh, DDT from the new. second rope! Man, tonight, John Stone, I'm seeing a bunch of new Could things from it? people. He got it! I've never seen Harker Dirge do that. believe we've seen that. I say we can't take a look at that one more time. That second rope DDT, whatever you want to call it. That was fantastic. Enough to put away Kyle Pfeiffer here tonight. Excuse me, sir. I am, uh, I'm looking for him. I'm lost in here. He's about this tall. He has long hair, long blonde hair. He's got a, he's got a, he's kind of a fetish for cats and lips and unicorns and burns and stuff like that, but what I'm wondering is I've exhausted this whole place. Can you possibly be in one of these Is he a non-corporeal enemy? 
trap is what I get paid to trap, so I don't know if I'm going to let somebody like that out. Uh, is there a way I can check or something? I mean, you got a viewfinder or something? Yeah, I mean... Take a look. I don't know. Okay. Just focus on the trap and then yeah. see through? Oh, you can try. Hey, Justin. We'll see you in a bit. Well, see you on the other side, right? Well, thank you very much. I'm gonna have to keep looking for him, but um, it's good to know he's not trapped anymore. Yeah, I, I didn't see anybody look like that this week or so. Yeah. By the way, before I leave, my kid brother really wants one of these things. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you got any back in the days anything? Well, a proton pack is not a toy. Damn. Boss is right. I really can't sell stuff like that. UWC Online is taking over the world of social media. Connect with all of our fans through the official Facebook page, facebook.com slash UWC Georgetown. Watch all the past and current episodes of UWC Online on our official YouTube page. Get late breaking news and notes when you follow at UWC Georgetown on Twitter. And check out the photographs and still shots from our world class photographer on our official Instagram page. UWC Online. A truly interactive experience. You ready? Yep. I lost my friend through here. His name is Jason V. He's kind of this tall. He's very active with cats and whips and stuff like that. Have you seen him? I think he went that way. That way? Yeah. Yeah, over there. Thanks, guys. Who was that? I don't know, guys. Ladies and gentlemen, I am Kyle James, and joining me at this time is Sam Knight. Hi, Kyle. Good to see you, Mike. Good to see you. Um, now, last week it was announced that you will be facing off against Cecil Cerveza in a two out of three falls match. Now, what are your thoughts on that? My thoughts? Let me just be honest with you. This is something I've been waiting for for a while now. And now I have the opportunity to put an end to this. I have an opportunity to prove to the UWC audience and prove to Cecil that he can be beaten. Not once. And not twice, but just beaten, period. You know, uh, Cecil, you know, he, he runs his mouth about how, you know, he's the best thing here and all that jazz. I'm finally going to put an end to this. I beat him before, and this time I'm going to beat him when it matters. Two out of three falls. Infinite power. He's going to go for it again. Blake Reed just ties him in the corner. Here we go, power bomb. Oh my god! Oh. the world power bomb. Blake Reed just went turbo. Only the second time this year, I believe. Oh, it feels good to see Jimmy Carrot back. And he's taking on a man we've already seen once here tonight. Now in an active role, Joey O'Reilly. You know what, John Stone? I honestly think that we're in for a treat with this match. I really do. Last time we saw Jimmy Carrot in action here, it was up against Aaron Matthews a few weeks ago. Yeah, and both of these men, they're both very familiar with Aaron Matthews. Both have held tag team gold with Aaron. These two have a history with each other. They both have competed against each other many different times yes. throughout the years. Joey's ready to fight. He's ready to go, but Jimmy Carrot's letting this crowd get to him. You know, dare I say this, and this is going to be a, a bold claim, I think Carrot's more off his rocker than he ever was before. No, it's hard to tell. I mean, this man is known as the powder keg. Having a flex off here. Well, 
Joey's got the muscles and Carrot's got the hair, so put them both together. Look at that carrot, you know, as I said, I think this guy's more off his rocker than he has been in the past. You can tell that just the, the little things are, are starting to get to him, and that could be his The little things got to him many years ago. I think that's the best thing to say. Jimmy Carrot used to be the UWC champion here for a record seven months, I believe, seven or eight months. You know, he used to call himself the last class act. He'd show up in a suit and tie, and he was a very well put together man. But, you know, ever since his his little saga with Sean Douglas, whoever that is, um, that's when he started to go off his rocker a little bit. He started to lose his mind, dare I say. And, but, you know, that doesn't take away from the fact that Jimmy Carrot's one of the best in-ring competitors that we've had in this company's history. Exactly, but he's matched up right now against one half of the UWC Tag Team Champions, Joey O'Reilly. Tornado Jones on the outside, much like earlier. The roles are reversed here. I'm surprised to see Tornado Jones is able to walk after the beating Blake Reed gave him. Ducks under the back elbow. Ducks under the lariat. Lifts him up. Huge head scissor. I think Carrot landed right on his head with that. He's hurting. Standing shooting star. Running shooting star. Oh, knee to the gut. You know, you can be flashy all you want, Joey, but that was effective. Simple and effective. Oh, so was that one. Kick to the side of the head. Kicks up. Oh, he caught it. Oh, 540 kick connects. Backgrounds on that attempt, Jimmy Carrick connected into a pin. Oh, that should have been it. Wow, he caught him. What a maneuver. Joey trying to fight back, Carrick cutting him off at the pass. Oh, there we go. Resorting to devious tactics like that. I think Carrick's go. I think he's uh. Starting to lose it a little bit here. He didn't get that three count. That might be starting to get to him. Fans here, no love lost for Jimmy Carrot. Ooh. Dragon Zord fighting back with boots in the midsection. Catches the third one. Pulls him out into almost a power bomb. A modified corner bomb, whatever you want to call it. Two. This might be a mistake right now on the part of Jimmy Carroll just sitting there letting Joey O'Reilly catch his breath. Shot to the mush. Second. Hits a triple. Bounce off the rope. Oh, back That's elbow. Good have it. Gets his shoulder up at two. Tornado you know, this, Jones. This match has been action packed from the beginning, John Stone, just as I thought it would be. Tornado Jones on the outside trying to rally this crowd in favor of Joey, his tag team partner. Up and over. Oh, but Joey lands on the apron. Carrot doesn't know it. Comes in. Low bridge. We might see that springboard DDT. Good look to hit it. Wait a minute, Carrot oh, catches it. him. Oh, but he's oh. to That's the second time in this match Jimmy Carrot's been dumped on his head. That's going to start to add up. Oh, he had an opportunity for a pin, but he couldn't make it all the way over. Both these men got to the count of 10 to get back to their feet. Re referee Iron Mike with that 10 count. We'll see who gets up first. Looks like it just might be... Oh, they're, 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 Carrot they're beats him by a hair. Spring oh, Dragon on the chin. Wow. That was the Dragon Dagger back kick. Forearm shot to the side of the face. Man, Kara's taking a lot of shots to the head. Goes up, moonsault into the corner. Boom to the face. Oh, 
stomp to the back. To the cranium. Look at that. Jimmy Carrot, smart man. He knows ring awareness. Joey O'Reilly, he's ready to put Jimmy Carrot away. That just shows you Joey O'Reilly got too caught up at the moment, didn't notice where he was in the ring positioning. Could be looking to hit something big. The axe kick. So he's going up. He might be going up for either that Phoenix or the 450. Looks like he might be going for the Phoenix. But wait a minute, Carrot's getting up. Oh! Knocks it out from under him. And that is not a position you want to be in, John Stone. Carrot all smiles and giggles right now. He wasn't that way a few minutes ago. Oh, a symbolic cut of the throat. And watch this. Wait a minute, look at, look at Joey. He's looking to, he's hooking his foot around the top rope. Back elbows to the face, knocking oh, Carrot off. Carrot off. Are we gonna see it? Incoming! Oh, oh, he misses the Phoenix, he crash and burns. Jimmy Carrot going for the Gold Digger. Gold Digger spikes him, and without Gold Digger, he is a tree. Pulls out the victory. Oh my gosh! Very impressive on the part of Jimmy Carrot here taking advantage of Joey O'Reilly's misstep. Jimmy Carrot victorious here tonight in the main event. And that's a big win. That's a win over one of the tag team champions. You gotta wonder if maybe Carrot could find a partner. He could be in line for a title shot. Yeah, but I don't think Jimmy Carrot is really looking for anybody to be next to him. Nah, he doesn't really play well with others, John Stone. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for joining us here on this awesome edition of UWC Online. Don't forget to check us out. We've got so much on the docket coming up in the next several weeks. Until then, we'll see you on the next edition.